What is up guys, it is Nick, and it's time to break down Thursday's showdown slate on DraftKings. We've got the Philadelphia Eagles at the New York Giants. Uh, it looks like there's going to be a little bit of weather in this game, so do keep that in mind. Um, but I think the, the build is pretty straightforward this week. This video will be very, very short. There's only a handful of options that even make sense. Um, Wentz, Beckham... I don't love Barkley, so he's not really a, he's an option for me, but he's not an option if you're only making one lineup. I wouldn't play Saquon. Um, the Eagles, you beat them through the air. You don't beat them on the ground. So unless Barkley's getting dump-off passes, it just doesn't make any sense to play Barkley. Eli, Eli's fine. I feel like he's a little overpriced for being Eli. Ertz, Jeffrey, Shepard, Aguilar. Then we come down here. Clement, Smallwood, Eagles defense, the two kickers, the Giants defense, and then if you want to take a shot on somebody way down here, you can. Gibson, Latimer, or Latimer Matthews, Goddard, if you're Kamar Aiken. If you want to take any shots on those guys, you can. I will not be taking shots on them, but uh, you can. The build's pretty easy. You're going to want either Carson Wentz, Odell Beckham, or Zach Ertz along with either Clement or Smallwood in your captain. Just depends on your preference. With Clement slightly beat up, I think I prefer Smallwood as my captain at 5,700. I'm not sure how much I'm going to play this slate. It seems like it's a pretty chalk slate. There's there's not much edge to be gained on this slate, I don't think, unless people make massive mistakes. But, you know, there's always a little bit of edge. You know, there will be 20% of the field that don't play any of these guys at the captain. And maybe it works out, but I think if you run the simulation a hundred times, it would not work out all that often. I mean, we're dealing with one game sample sizes, so yes, anything crazy could happen. Uh, Carson Wentz could trip and fall, and Nick Foles could come in and throw for five touchdowns. You know, weird crap like that can happen. Yeah, we we know that. But I mean, if you run this game a hundred times and take the law of averages and you take the high scores of each thing, these would be the general high scores. Would be Wentz. Beckham and Ertz. I think Beckham is a must. Um, he should get, I think he should get Ronald Darby, and Darby is terrible, so Beckham should run wild on him. Ertz, look at all these targets. He has not had a game with under double-digit targets. 10, 13, 10, 14, 11. It's what you'll love to see. He's pricey for a tight end. We all know tight ends can bust fairly easily. Even ones like Ertz, Kelsey, and Gronk. They can all bust pretty easily. Much easier than a wide receiver. Um, and that leaves you 6150 remaining for your last player. So if you want to go, you know, Corey Clement, you get 7900 left. And you can plug in Sterling Shepard. You don't have to deal with kickers or defenses. Though I think in this game, kickers and defenses may be more viable than, than normal. Um, if I had to choose, I'd choose Rosas uh, as the kicker, just because I think the uh, the Eagles will have a better time stopping them than the Giants will. Play Alshon Jeffrey then, and then you can have the two favorite targets of Carson Wentz with him, um, as well as the the should be main. I don't want to say lead running back because Clement will draw the start, but I think Smallwood has looked a little bit better, so I do like Smallwood. With this though, if you do prefer Clement. You could take Smallwood out and play Clement, and you got enough money. But it's a pretty straightforward build. I, I, there's not much for me to talk about for it. I mean, there's only a handful of different players that you even want to consider, and when you whack it down to that small core, it only leaves you so many options. I mean, if we can throw Beckham, Beckham's my favorite play on the slate. So if you throw Odell Beckham in, you got to play Smallwood. And you got to play Rosas because you don't have a lot of money. Um, so that gives you about 9000 left. Uh, you go Ertz, Shepard, and I don't have enough for your Eli. Um, let's see. I guess you could not play Smallwood. You could go, you could go Jake Elliott. You go double kickers. You'd have 10-2 left. You could play Eli. Um, it gets a little bit dicey when you play these guys in the captain uh, i do really like sterling shepherd so if you want to throw shepherd into the captain at 11 7 it leaves you a little bit more work room uh to go with these three top guys it leaves you about three grand left uh which which can get you you know uh rosas 
Uh, if you want to take a shot down here, um, you could take a shot on Gibson. Uh, I think he provides you an interesting guy down there. Uh, Wayne Gallman, I guess, is slightly interesting, but not that interesting. Uh, Rhett Ellison. I mean, these are just dart throws down here, but it, it is possible to play someone that's not Wendell Smallwood in your captain, still have a competent lineup, or Corey Clement, not Corey Clement in your captain. But pretty much to me, the slate's pretty darn straightforward. I probably will not be participating in this slate. I just, I, it's too, I I just envisioned the slate being just way too chalky. We'll have Beckham at like 80%. We'll have Carson Wentz at 80%. Eli might be a little bit contrarian, a little bit lower owned. Uh, I'm assuming Barkley will get 30% or something like that. Uh, Ertz will probably get 60. It, it's just going to be a hugely chalky slate, and so I don't know if I want any part of that. Um, I'll think about it today and then decide before lock tonight, obviously. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Really quick video, nice and easy. Tomorrow, I'll have up the FanDuel lineup builder, as always, on Friday. We'll go over my favorite plays on FanDuel and take a look over there. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.